Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, allow me to make an update about the duck farming. And also the boathouse that we are trying to achieve or accomplish. And I would like to introduce also another pets in the house. And a little later, you will know what is this pet that we are trying to breed here. So you will see that our ducks are already growing big. And the first batch of this, which is 15, which composed of more than 10 females, are already laying their eggs. It took me for just a period of five to six months before I see eggs from them. And as you can see over there at my back, this is the area that they frequently visited. And I suspected that these ducks have already laid their eggs and it's good for our breakfast. You know, these ducks are already very wild and they can fly high like a bird. And I'm so happy about this because I wanted that they will live normally and they will live in a way that they can exercise all the potentials of the duck. All these ducks are young. The female ducks that are already adults are, you know, just there and they're coming over. We will feed them and then you can see that they are growing in number. And in one of my videos, I said that it's good to also consider raising Moscovy ducks because they are meat producers. The drake of these ducks, I mean the, the male duck, adult one, will weigh up to seven kilos and this is already big and if you will dress it you will have a meat of more than five kilos so this is more bigger than chickens they're waiting for the food In our next video, we will release some, you know, hundreds of adult catfish here because it's already very congested in the concrete tank at home. So we're going to release some two to three hundred catfish. These are big catfish already. And we will grow them here and it will add more attraction. It's very easy to detect the nest of these ducks because they used to gather some dry hay and they will make that as their nest and they have this capacity of really weaving the grasses so that their eggs are protected and they are not like the Kaki Campbell ducks those ducks that can just lay eggs everywhere but these uh, Muscovy are making nests I have 
see in here six eggs and we will harvest this one because they are so plenty I'm, I'm expecting to hatch some eggs of these ducks next week and this is more than 50 so I decided to just bake these eggs for breakfast uh, see so one two three four five six seven eggs Whew. see this one we have here plenty we have plenty of eggs and we can just move in and see if they can find another nest you see this one there are more than 30 eggs I'm so happy about this and you know how we started this farm and I'm looking forward to be able to have many ducks that can just fly like a bird and then come back here and then lay their eggs so I'm so excited also to introduce to you the two pets that we add in this farm we will go to the boathouse and I will introduce to you them and then you will suggest the names of these pets And these are the pets that I'm referring to. You see that? This is mine cone cats. They're big breeds of cats that they are growing fast. And actually, this was only donated to me from my friends. They are not anymore able to, to take care of this one because uh, my friend is going to another country, migrating another country. And he asked me to take care of these pets. This is one of the best pets that we can also include here in the farm because cat farming is also good. Only that I have to bring this to the veterinarian because it has some injury here. So these are actually very tame cats. And you can suggest now, what's the name of this? This is the, the female. Wow, they're only four months old. And I'm so happy to take care of cats as well. And you know that in one of my previous videos, we were able to film about these abandoned cats that we got from the garbage area. 
And this is the beginning also of our cat breeding here. And I hope these cats will have their babies the soon as possible. So guys, I'm so excited to fill these boats with new pets and I'm also um, hand feeding some of our African babies, African lovebirds, and we will release them here. And as soon as we can call their names, they will, you know, live together with these cats. That would be possible. So I'm so happy about these developments. We're almost done with our boathouse and almost to start with the business that I'm thinking about, the coffee shop. And if you are not subscribed to this channel, may I humbly ask you to please subscribe and hit that notification bell because we are uploading videos regularly. And if you will subscribe, of course, you will be notified of our upcoming uploads. I would like to see you in my next video only here at Dexter's World. Have a good day.